In our surrounding, electrons are typically not free, but in a bound state. They are bound to at least one atom and can neither be seen as a particle nor as a wave. Instead, they are quantum objects that have both particle and wave properties. This quantum behavior is for instance reflected in Schrödinger's equation to describe a single electron in a potential of an atom. Today we want to introduce the basic concept of the tight binding model. It takes great advantage of the quantum nature of electrons and builds the foundation of state-of-the-art ab initio calculations. The system we aim to describe is given by atoms arranged in a crystal, which boils down to electrons in a periodic potential. We now assume that the electronic states can be approximately described by quasi-atomic wave functions. The wave function consists of both the wave function for a single atom and the Bloch factor. The Bloch factor is the eigenfunction of the translation operator in a periodic potential corresponding to plane waves. A wave function of this form and combination is also called Vanier function. The complete wave function of the system can be written as the sum of Vanier functions. It corresponds to a method called linear combinations of atomic orbitals. In reality, the system would contain a different potential. We apply now a little trick and formally rewrite the potential. In this way, we separate the crystal Hamiltonian into a part that is already solved and a part that is hopefully a small perturbation. The energy eigenvalue is computed as the expectation value of our new Hamiltonian. It easily falls apart into a major contribution and a minor correction. The sum in the correction can be rewritten by changing the basis slightly. In this way, we can choose not to sum over all atoms, but to only consider the atom itself and its nearest neighbors. The sum gets further separated in the on-site crystal field effect and the hopping integral. The first acts merely like an energy shift, but the second describes how an electron moves from one side to any of its neighbors. If the system is isotropic, so the underlying atomic orbital is an S-wave, the hopping in all directions is equally likely. For a simple cubic lattice with a given lattice constant, we can now write down a dispersion relation. This result offers important insights into electrons in a crystal. It can be used to compute the density of states and predict experimental results, for instance for photoemission spectroscopy and scanning tunneling microscopy, among others. Note that in case of small momenta, the cosine can be expanded in the Taylor series. We yield the same functional dependency as for free electrons or in a Fermi gas. That's pretty much it, thanks for watching!